So, what happened? You mean... Arthur and me, we were together. I had to get out, but... He went back, for the money. You... You know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Uh, rattle him, or... or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah? That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well... He wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. We owe this to Arthur. Revenge. That might be something he could have understood. This ain't just revenge. It's about stopping the man. Micah? If you're here... Come out! Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! I look forward to meeting them! Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. 
Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over.
seem to make sense when Brother Santo said a one more run be enough. All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home.
Micah, if you're here, come out. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! I look forward to meeting them! you can, John. It's your only hope. I'm just fine here. I'll make you rich. Real rich. I got all the money from Blackwater. Well, <laughs> most of... Oh, John! It's just here. Come take a look. <laughs> At least die like a man. <laughs> Hellfire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Master. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good.
Thank you. I... You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money, I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... <sighs> it's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. <laughs> <laughs> 